Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project sales management system. And I have developed this project in VB.net. And the database I'm using is the MySQL. And uh, I'm running this project on Visual Studio 2019. Also for connecting uh, VB.net with MySQL, I'm using the MySQL connector, which you will get easily from the mysql.org website. And uh, as I told you earlier, I'm using the VS 2019 ID for developing this project. Right. So for running this project, if you have the zip file, then you can extract it and you can import this file. You can open the SLN file. And after that, you have to import the database and you can run it. Right. So let's go to the functionality that what we have developed inside this project. Right. So uh, this project I have already imported in Visual Studio. So for running this project, just click on the start and the user name is admin and the password is test so once you log in it log in the system it will show you the splash form and after loading the splash form you will get the dashboard right and from that dashboard you can perform certain operations right so you can see this is the dashboard here you can see this is the employee management here there is an add employee from where you will be able to add the employees right so you can see there are a lot of employees here right you can add employee into the sales management right this is the employee report from where you will be able to see the all of the employees in the list form right so you can't edit it from here so for editing you need to go into the add employee sections this is item management from here you will be able to add the items so there are six products available in the list if you want to add or edit just click on this and you can update it right okay suppose if you want to update it to 310 to 320 then you can update and that record will be updated from updated into the database you can see that record has been updated and if you want to add new record so i am adding new record here in description uh, and once you click on save then you can see this record has been saved if you want to delete it just click on the item and delete it and that item will be deleted if you want to search the item just click on the search and enter the item id 5 then you will be able to get the details of that item right exit so this same CRUD application is available in all forms this is the stock management from here you will be able to stock means what is the select item quantity and description then you will be able to update the stocks this is the stock report right so you will be able to see all of the stock report this is add sales from here you will be able to add the sales here you need to enter the name suppose i am entering the j and the mobile number and the date you can enter 12 jan right and once you click on the add item then it will show you the dashboard right and you can add uh, select the item like this one right you can see and once you click on the quantity one then item will be added into the cart you can see right plasma and item quantity two and this one right and then biscuit two plus this one so you can see this has been uh, coming into the cart if you want to delete any item just click on that item and just click on the minus and that item will be removed from the cart total item total amount uh, the customer need to pay is 1100 rupees once you click on the save sales the item will be saved into the database and you will be able to see the sales report so this is a j and total amount j paid is 1100 rupees on 10 12th jan right okay so this is the view so this is the toolbar if you want to see the toolbar if you want to status bar then this is just a option here right this is a windows the default option this is a change password from here you will be able to update your account password and after changing your password you will be updated you will be able to log in with your updated password this is a logout once you click on the logout then system will be exited right and you will not be able to uh, access those pages without running it right for running it just click on the start and after that you can log in and you can access the same dashboard which i uh, demonstrated you 
demonstrated you earlier right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project the sales management system as i told you earlier this project i have developed in vb.net and mysql and i am using the visual studio 2019 for running this project right if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much